I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I have sort of a makeover project to do. I recently moved into a new home and I had a bedspread that I bought that I just loved. And when we moved into the new home, and by the way, it was a new bedspread, I put it on the bed and the very first night that we slept in it, our lovely cute little puppy decided to get sick on the bed. Luckily, he didn't get on the front of the bedspread, only on the back side of it. So I decided to put it away for a while till the dog gets just a little bit older. So I made a quick trip across the street to Walmart and bought just whatever bed comforter set I could find. And it also came with three little pillows. When I put the pillows on the bed, they didn't look very good. They sort of got lost in the bed comforter. So I'm gonna show you how you can do a simple makeover to some of your bed pillows, or if you don't have any little accent pillows, ideas for what you can make for your bedroom, just kind of spruce up your bed comforter. So let's get started on the first pillow. The very first step that you wanna do is first measure your pillow. And you wanna place a tape measure from the side seam on one side, go up over the top, down to the side seam on the other side. This is a 16 inch square pillow. I don't wanna cut the fabric 16 inches square. I wanna add an additional half inch because I will be doing a quarter inch seam on all four sides. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of fabric 16 and a half inches square. Bring both pieces of fabric with the pretty sides coming together. It's called front side or right side. So bring them together. Place pins around all four edges. Place two pins on this side, about an inch and a half from this corner over here, and then one pin from this corner over here, one and a half inches in. You want to leave a fairly wide opening because you're going to insert the pillow inside of that opening, so it needs to be fairly large. Then you're going to start at this pin. You're going to stitch a one quarter inch wide seam from the raw edge back stitch here, then go all the way around all four edges and then stop here and make sure you back stitch. After you have stitched around all four sides, go ahead and trim a little bit of fabric off at each corner. You want to leave it about an eighth of an inch wide. Be careful that you don't cut into your stitch line. Before you turn it front side out, I like to fold my opening edges back one quarter inch and then press. And make sure you do it on both sides. Then turn it front side out. Before you insert the pillow, like mine is already inserted inside, you want to reach inside and poke all four corners out. Then just squish the pillow and begin slowly inserting it. You don't want to stress these little um, seams right here. Then you want to go ahead and close up this opening. And I like using a ladder stitch. So if you don't know how to do a ladder stitch, then find that link that'll take you to a very detailed tutorial on how to do a ladder stitch. It is a hidden stitch, it can't be seen, and it looks fantastic. So make sure you check below for that link. Well, I thought this one turned out really nice. I really like this fabric. I've had the fabric for a while, but I did buy it at Walmart, so you might be able to find it there. It is their uh, inexpensive line of decorator fabric. If you want suggestions on something else you could do to this pillow, if you wanted just a little bit more of something on it, you could take a button and stitch it in the center. And if you want to know how to put a button on and other ideas for basic pillows, there is a fat quarter pillow video that I have. So look for that link below your YouTube screen. Okay, let's move on to the next pillow. 
This is a rectangular shaped pillow. So you need to measure this edge because it's going to be a lot longer on this going this way. And then you're going to also need it on the narrower part going from seam to seam. On this part going from seam to seam, you're going to add a half inch. On this one, I'm going to use three different pieces of fabric. So I want to divide this number, whatever it is on your pillow, if it's a rectangle, by three. Then add one half inch to that number. On the back of my pillow, I'm going to use just one solid piece of fabric. And I've cut it, including my seam allowance, 13 and a quarter by 17 inches. Here are the fabrics that I'm using. I selected fabrics that had the colors that were in the bedspread. So there was a little bit of pink, but there's a lot of this color here, and there is some gray. So take the three pieces. You're going to cut two for the outside that are the same, and then one for the center that's different. Stitch them together doing a one quarter inch seam along here. Then press the seams going towards the outer pieces of fabric. Now this next step you don't have to do, this is an option, is you can take some decorative ribbon. So I have this white background ribbon because there is white in the bed comforter and it's got little gray polka dots. So I'm going to place it on top of this. Now you can center it right on the seam, over the seam. I decided to push it off to where just a little bit of the ribbon is coming onto the pink. Then stitch along this side of the ribbon and this side. Bring the back and the front sides together so that you're looking at the not so pretty side right now. Place pins on all four edges just like you did before. Leave a wide opening and I'm using at the shorter width is where my opening is. That's so I don't have to do, many, do too many hand stitches. So leave about an inch and a half on each side that's not stitched over. Stitch a one quarter inch seam around all four edges. Make sure you trim the excess fabric off around the corners. That helps to make your corners lay nice and flat when you turn it front side out. Fold your opening edges back a quarter of an inch and press. Then turn it front side out. Make sure you poke your corners out before you insert the pillow. After inserting your pillow, then use the ladder stitch to close up the opening. Well, here's this one. My cameraman said he really liked this one. He thought it looked pretty good. This particular light seafoam bluish fabric I got at Walmart fairly recently. This other fabric in the middle I've had for a long time and I just dug it out of my pile of scrap fabric. The ribbon trim also came from Walmart and if you want to see what this bluish fabric looks like, here's what it looks like on the back. So you could even do one of these pillows just all in this one fabric. Well, let's take these pillows to my bed and see what it looks like. The third pillow, this one right here, I decided not to do a makeover on it because I actually liked it. It has a really nice quilt st stitch pattern on it and it just sort of uh, looked so much richer than the other two pillows that came with the bed comforter. So when, once I put these on the bed, everything seemed to pop. Everything stands out. These two pillows here blended in so much with the bed comforter, the only one you saw was this one here. So I think by just changing the, cut, the fabrics, adding just a little bit of interest with the three different fabrics here, just sort of made everything pop. And it looks like I paid a lot of money for it when I really didn't. Well, I hope I've inspired you to do a makeover on the pillows on your bed or add some little decorative pillows if you don't have any. If you're interested in other 
pillow projects. I have lots of videos on a variety of pillows. Check below your YouTube screen for those video links. And if you're interested in other beginner sewing projects such as table runners, pot holders, uh, oven mitts, things like that, also look below your YouTube screen for those video links. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and don't forget to go to Facebook and check, check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.